Hey folks, so welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the Dream 100. It's not really about coding, but it's about marketing. And I really came across this Dream 100 concept when I finished creating my app and I needed to market it, but I didn't know how. So I started reading a lot of books and one of them was called Expert Secrets by Russell Brunson. And he came across the concept of the Dream 100. Now what the Dream 100 is, is that you have, uh, you have, you try to get a list, make a list of a hundred influencers that, that you want to build relationships with. So you have, you you want to make these relationships with these influencers because if any one of them talks about your product, then, then you're set kind of. Um, so for example, if I made an app, I made an app and uh, one of the influencers that I want to want to want to build a relationship with is Tim Cook, CEO of Apple. So he must have millions and millions of followers, right? So um, I keep on throwing my product at him or build a relationship at him. I'm not throwing my product at him because first we have to build a relationship. So I tweet him, I include him in conversations and social media, and in that sense, after I built that relationship with him and he's talking to me, then I could say, Hey Tim, do you mind? Do you mind? Uh, telling your followers about my my new app that I just developed and if you have that relationship he would be more than happy to and boom by doing that all these millions of followers now know about your app so if the millions of followers buy your app for like a dollar then you're you instantly become a millionaire but that's kind of like a dream come true. Um, so anyways, that's the quick idea behind the Dream 100, which was presented by Russell Brunson. You should really get the book if you are into marketing. And marketing is a very interesting, interesting um, idea, concept, teaching, education, whatever you want to call it. It's completely different from, from uh, being a developer. Oh, I'm burping because I ate too much food. Um, but anyways... Being a developer, you only have like this problem. Okay, make X, Y, Z uh, to solve this problem for for this customer. You think about it logically, you write the code, boom, you release it, it's done. But for marketing, the problem is that you're dealing with people. There are emotions involved. Um, they buy on emotions and they justify it with logic. So you have to really kind of, kind of, uh, how do I put it? You have to really be creative in order to market your app successfully. So, this is one of the quickest way to do it if you have no money, um, which I I don't. So I don't have a lot of money to to spend on ads or anything. So this is the next best thing. Plus, you make a lot of really good uh, networking co connections. So you can see here that this blog is a crash course in the Dream One Hundred Lesson One. What and why? I have no idea where it is, who it's by, but I just googled Dream One Hundred, and this is the first result that came up. Um, you get see that what the what this blog teaches and what Russell teaches is that if they, we break up the list into four parts bloggers bloggers social media personalities which is influencers um, business owners list owners and podcasters so this is my list so far I don't really have a hundred yet but actually finding a hundred people it's really freaking hard it's taking me so long to do this um, probably like freaking five hours already and most of them is just coming from Twitter for me. But you can see that I have list owners, I have bloggers, podcasters, and YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. They're my influencers. The list owners so far are pretty much people who are out of reach. Um, that's what I list them as. So, for example, Kevin Rose, Michael Hardo, Ray Wunderlich, they're all, they're all millionaires. So they are all really busy and afraid of people. <laughs> so anyways... Um, they're really hard to reach, so basically what I'm pretty pretty much going to do is I'm probably going to run ads for people who follow these guys on Facebook. Um, that's how I'm going to get my product in front of their eyes. Um, let's see, freak, I'm using the filler word um so much right now. Um, <laughs> there, I did it again. So, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, actually what's great is that Twitter is a, a plethora of developers who have a presence who are actually doing something awesome. YouTube is the same way where we have a lot of bunch of people, a bunch of a bunch of influencers teaching their craft. I'm up there too actually. If you go to youtubecoursehack.com, um, then you would find that 
I am also teaching courses and I have I have quite a number of subscribers which is really really cool actually um, so that's that so they say break it into four pieces you don't really have to break it up that way break it up into a way that makes sense to you so list owners makes sense I could have have a list of really people with a lot of presence but some but they're people that I can't reach but I can read th reach them through paid ads on Facebook because they probably have a bunch of followers that are that like them on Facebook bloggers the same way if you have bloggers what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to hit them up in the blog because people don't really hit up blogs as much as they do on Twitter so even though they have Twitter profiles I'm going to hit them up on blogs because that will put my face in front of theirs much more easily YouTube is kind of the same way um, I don't think well I'll probably just try to try to make some conversation here and there but Twitter is really really good because there's a lot of people a lot of a lot of big influencers and you could easily see what they're talking about in, in your in your feed if you follow them. So it's easy to create a conversation and create a create, uh, relationship that way. But anyways, that's pretty much all I wanted to go through. I just want to talk about the Dream 100. When I learned it, I thought, this is amazing. Why didn't I think about this? But not a lot of, not a lot of people know about it. It's one of those marketing secrets that you gotta you gotta run into if you if you're really looking for for some secrets. But anyways, I've been talking for too long. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you like this video and if you learned something. Otherwise, have a good night.